How's it going, Teal Boys? It's time. The national championship is here. We'll be playing against the three seed in Oklahoma. And the Sooners, believe it or not, are expected to win this game. They went 12-2, and two, or I guess 10-2 and two in the regular season. We're 15-0. We have not lost so far this year. Yet still, it is Oklahoma expected to win. They are the higher overall team. Uh, we score more points per game by a decent margin, five points more per game. However, they get a lot more yards uh, and have a slightly worse defense, but their turnover differential much better. So their defense does a good job at creating those takeaways. Uh, again, pretty solid 12 and two on an eight win streak. They came out, had some bad losses early in the season. They lost to a seven and five Texas and a 7-5 Kansas State in overtime. Since then, though, it has been all wins. Their starting quarterback is 258 for 437 with 3,600 yards, 36 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. Their starting running back, 185 carries for 1,500 yards and 14 touchdowns. Average is 8.1 yards per carry? That's absurd. <laughs> We're going to have a hard time shutting him down. Although we will come into this game with the number one rush defense in the nation. Their receiving leader, just 62 catches and 918 yards. Uh, five touchdowns there. And defensively, eh, nothing crazy. Uh, all our defensive leaders are certainly much better than that. Speaking of which, we are 40 touchdowns to 11 interceptions this season. Which is much better than I initially thought. Uh, Rate right on 183 for 281. Passing for 3,700 yards, so a more efficient and effective quarterback. Mike Fontaine, 204 carries for only 920 yards, average of 4.5 yards per carry. He is technically the lesser of the two backs. And of course, receiving-wise, it's Marquise. 50 catches for 1,300 yards, averages 26 yards per catch. And he's got 16 touchdowns on the season. And then Will Phillips with 116 tackles. Spencer Stanley with seven interceptions leading the nation there. And David Wilson has those eight sacks. In our last game, we did a colorway against West Virginia. It was blue on blue. I think we're going to go with another one today. Red versus blue. And I think that'll be a nice, fun look. So we're just going with our standard homes. We've got Oklahoma in the playoff ones. And there's not much of a difference there other than uh, the Jumpman logo on the chest is a little bit different as far as I'm aware. The Sooners, again, 99 overall across the board. We're at 95 with a 97 defense and a 93 offense. So it's not going to be easy for us. Uh, offense needs to be able to get it done today. We might have to really lean on the raid on the Marquise combo. And we just got to hope that our defense can slow them down enough. Hopefully it doesn't come down to our special teams winning the game for us. But uh, that certainly is nothing new. So looking at the numbers again, definitely the best offense in the country. Uh, they don't run the ball tremendous compared to everything else, but top five in points scored, yards and passing yards. And defensively, uh, they don't stop the run very well, but they stop the pass incredibly well. They don't give up a lot of points and they just don't give up a whole lot of yards. So definitely looks a little bit dangerous for us. They have the fourth best pass offense. We have the 105th worst pass defense, so that could really, really be a struggle. Uh, their top players for next year, 95, 95, 93, although that's good news for us. There is a little bit of an injury report, a tight end and a left end, both out for that Sooners offense. Could that be what makes the difference in this game? I'm not sure, but it's definitely going to level the playing field a little bit. It is a rainy day in the Bay Area here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Both teams having to travel a long ways to get to this game. Probably a little bit upset about the weather, but 
Uh, it's us winning the coin toss. We will elect to kick this one off, of course. And it will be Frederick getting this national championship game underway. Sooners are going to return the opening kickoff. What can we do? Decent kick coverage, putting them there at that 25-yard line. We know that these guys are going to be good in both running the ball and passing it, but I will be expecting them to throw more often than not. Quarterback all the time in the world eventually finds a man wide open. It's Andre Jones. He's got 17 yards. So the first play from scrimmage, the Sooners have an incredible time there with the offensive line doing some work. Quarterback keeps it on the option and nobody's there to tackle him. It's Kale Mackey eventually tracking him down, but we gave up 32 yards there. Showing us an interesting look there with the option. The Sooners coming out swinging on this one. Another run out towards the edge. We had a chance to get the tackle, but David Wilson couldn't do it. It's another first down and the Sooners are in our territory threatening to score immediately. Hopefully we don't get burned. I got to bring a blitz. Try to stop the bleeding a little bit. And there it is. Finally a play that doesn't go for a first down. Definitely going to expect the pass now that they are stopped once. No, it's going to be a run up the middle. Don Riley gets in there and we do force the third down. Can we get the stop? Just a single back this time. We'll be expecting the pass as they motion him away. And third and four. Stepping back to pass. They go with the screen. Jenkins got there. Couldn't get the tackle. They score, but there's a flag on the play. It is coming back. It's a holding on the offense. We'll get a second try at that. So from a third and four to a third and eight with a touchdown taken off of the board. What can the Sooners do? Again, they'll step back looking to throw. Somebody's got to be open over the middle. There it is, and Jenkins can't get there in time. Bad coverage in the end zone as Greg Huff completes his second pass of the drive. And now the Sooners get on the board, up 7-0. Defense not getting it done on that drive. It's going to be up to our offense now to answer back. Hopefully we have even somewhat the same level of uh, success as they just did. We'll have the same starting field position. It was a very, very quick drive, just over a minute off the clock as they were in the hurry up the entire time. We're going to go option on first down and... Radon had the space, but that dude tackled both of us. Second and 13. We've already lost three yards in this game. We're going to have to go to the air as we'll bring Marquise in motion. Stepping back to pass. Some pressure coming outside the pocket. Sean Stewart wide open. And the tight end makes a man miss. And the tight end, Sean Stewart, gets us 34 yards downfield. There's our first big play. I feel like I said his name like 20 times on that play, but he deserved it, a big one. We'll hand this one off to Mike Fontaine. Gotta try to be a threat on both uh, options, moving the football, and that time actually working out pretty well for us. Five yards up the middle for Mike. I'm gonna look to the air once again on second and down, and again, they're bringing a little bit of pressure. We should have somebody over the middle. Oh my gosh, Marquise, a little bit slower to accelerate than I expected. Lucky that one wasn't picked off. Brings up a third and five, and we would have to go for this if we don't convert. I can't afford to take a field goal here, I don't think. Mike Fontaine fighting for it, and he got every yard needed. Oh, absolutely strong running there. He comes into this game as the worst of the two starting running backs, but he's getting it done, and he's doing it some more there. Five yards through the air. So we're definitely not moving as quick as Oklahoma was, but we are still moving the ball, trying to stay effective. This should be caught by Marquise, and it is inside the red zone. That's another 16 yards. The benefit of uh, these long drives is our defense at the end of the game should still be pretty well rested versus theirs. Radon keeping it on the option will slide down across the five-yard line. And from this position inside the 10, we'll go with the counter. J.J. Barr, the fullback, getting his first carry. And there's spaces there for the first and goal. I think it's time just to pound it up the middle. Oklahoma's rush defense a little bit worse than their pass defense. So we'll try to just get it done on the ground. J.J. Barr, first and goal up the middle. Nowhere to go. Just popped at the line by that linebacker. We're just three yards out. Can we eventually get there? Another run up the middle this time to Fontaine. And Mike 
Into the end zone, completely untouched, and just like that, it's a back to a tie ball game, seven all. As we kick this one off in our tie ball game, I'd like to ask you to go down and hit the like button. Uh, start getting up that hype for next season, and in the comments, I still want to know if anyone can correctly guess the team that we're moving to next year. Hopefully, we can go to our new team with uh, some positive momentum, which means the defense needs to get it together here. First and 10, expecting the run towards the edge. There it is. I over pursued the angle with Don Riley. This man has blockers all the way downfield. It's up to Sandcastle to push him out of bounds in Oklahoma already across midfield. 42 yards on that first play of the drive, and they continue to just fly on offense. We are getting toasted at the moment still in this hurry up stepping back looking to throw and there's the man wide open another first down and they're gonna get a whole lot more because there was a face mask at the end of that one just a couple of plays into the drive and they're already inside the 10 yard line first and goal from the seven can we do anything to slow down this offense it's not looking great so far but there's durham finch getting off his block to seal the edge drop him for a loss of four absolutely expecting the pass we're gonna try a little bit of nickel here they will go play action and there's a man in the corner spencer stanley can't get there in time a little bit slow for me switching over to him so uh huff still four to four through the air and oklahoma retakes the lead well this is looking a little bit worrisome for us right now at this rate we're gonna have to score on every single drive if we want a chance in this one and our special teams isn't giving us a whole lot to work with just 49 seconds left in this first quarter. Can we figure something out? Uh, should we keep this game tied? We do have the benefit in that we get the ball to start the third quarter. So that could be a chance for us maybe to be the ones to take the lead. We just have to go into the locker room with a tie ball game. Looking to throw on this one. We're going to take the sack. Oh, Sean Stewart was wide open. But we lose 10 yards. It's third and 17. So that's going to be the end of our first quarter. Uh, we're just taking the break here. Take a little second to think about it as we go into this big play to start the second quarter. And uh, let's see, will we have to punt the ball away or can we keep the drive alive? We kind of just got to hope for the best here. Let's see what can happen. Will anybody be able to get open enough? Uh, I'm going to throw it to Mike Fontaine. He's wide open, completely unguarded. Made one man miss, but three other Sooners are there to slow him down. But the drive will stay alive on the big 24-yard catch. Had to back all the way up to the end zone to make sure that we had time to get that throw off. A little bit scary, but it works out. It looks like they are going to bring some pressure. We're going to scramble immediately. And Radon able to get a couple of yards on the ground. This is the final game as a teal boy for a lot of the players on this team, so we'll expect to see them give it their all. One thing I got to make sure I don't fall into the trap of is trying to match Oklahoma's pace. Their offense is lightning quick at the moment. Ours isn't supposed to be, so we can't necessarily just go throw, throw, throw and move as fast as we can. The game is four quarters long in our offensive game plan typically tends to include all four quarters so we'll just continue to wear these guys down and hope for the best radon making some moves takes a hit but gets us to that third and one from the 39 yard line we are certainly in four down territory we're gonna hand this one off and jj bar up the middle does a good job fullback giving us four yards there all right this could be really really risky we're going triple option not my favorite play to run, but we're going to go for it. Mike Fontaine gets the pitch after Radon breaks the tackle. He's getting some stiff form cheese, and he's inside the five-yard line. It's a 31-yard gain for the running back. And how about Radon just breaking the tackle? And we get the big block there as well. Incredibly risky to make that pitch, but it pays off so, so well for us. First and goal, running it up the middle. J.J. Barr. Got a yard. The goal when we get into these short yardage situations is, is just to run Oklahoma over. Not working so far. Backup fullback Kevin Spencer can't get anything there. It's third and goal now. Will we be able to pick this up? Perfect on third down so far in this game. We need a little bit more. 
As I'm going to motion Chad Bradshaw over, get one more defender out of the area, one less person to worry about being blocked. Then Mike Fontaine's going to have the space. No, unable to get there. Fourth and goal. We got to go for this. Two and a half, maybe two yards to go. Oh my gosh, look at how much space we have on that weak side of the line. We're absolutely going to go for it. The space could have been there, but JJ Barr short. There is a flag down on the play. It's a holding, so it's going to be against us. We expect them to decline this. Take the turnover on downs. And that's exactly what they do. Well, can we get the stop? They're at the one-yard line. Got to just try to run up the middle here. Maybe get the safety. And there it is. Kale Mackey gets into the backfield and drops him for a loss. Two points to Coastal. And we get the ball with 2.13 left in the half. That is so, so big completely game changing and now if we score the touchdown it'll be for the lead as Jenkins gets us a decent return and gets out of bounds if I was smarter I would try to convince you guys that that was on purpose we intentionally had the turnover on downs but uh, I don't think I could fool anybody about that one completely lucky for us below two minutes to play now in this half second and seven we will look to the air they're gonna bring some pressure i know exactly where i'm throwing the ball and marquise comes down with it and gets out of bounds puts us across midfield and stops the clock we'll continue to look through the air the risky one it's picked off oh that is so brutal marquise was wide open but the absolute leap from the db gives them the ball well, so much for a chance to take the lead. The defense has to figure something out here. Otherwise, we are in a lot of trouble. QB stepping back to throw. Has a guy open. Kale Mackey could have made it another absolutely massive play, but he drops the interception. We can continue to expect them to pass the ball, but can we stop it? Over the middle, there's one. We get the hit. It is third down. Clock moving. And I'm going to stay in the man coverage for this play. Could be risky, but we're going to go for it. Third and three. They will step back to throw. We cover off the running back. Quarterback all the time in the world finds a man open. Sandcastle can't force the incompletion. I should have just stepped up and tried to sack the quarterback. That one's on me. First and ten again. They look to throw. Quarterback all the time in the world has a guy open. Sandcastle gets there a little bit too late. They continue to move. If they're going to score, my only hope is they do it really, really quick so that we have plenty of time to move down the field and try to score ourselves. Again, stepping back, looking to throw. That was a bad one. Uh, I think Oklahoma took their first time out. Second and 13, this nickel package in the man coverage is working really well for us, I'd say, compared to what we've seen, so I'm going to stick with it. As there's another running back open, but tackled and timeout taken. Third and 10. If we can hold them to just a field goal, but still score a touchdown, we could be in a good spot. Gonna take David Wilson and try to get pressure on this quarterback. Big third down. Pressure coming. We hit the quarterback. Hopefully not too late. One tackle broken. Don Riley gets the tackle. We'll take the timeout. It's fourth and eight. Who knows? Maybe there's a chance that we could block this. I highly doubt it. Marquise, can I get the jump? Oh, I might have had it there, but I miss it kick goes through honestly this kicker doesn't seem great a little bit low on power there but he gets it through the middle at 17 to 9 and we'll have 47 seconds to try and do something here before the end of the half this is so crucial that we score a touchdown right now oh man bad bad return there the last pass that we threw was an interception Hopefully we're not going to see that again. Looking maybe at the bump and run there as Marquise may be open. No, I'm throwing it away. Chad Bradshaw, boy, he's nowhere near it. It's another interception on back-to-back -back passes, and they're already in scoring position. I might have just thrown this game away. If we give up a touchdown, it's going to be just about game over. 36 seconds in the half. Something good needs to happen. There's the out route. Franklin drops the pick. Why can we not hold on to these, man? Back-to-back -back drives with what should have been absolutely certain interceptions, and we come away with nothing on them. Another out route. For, ah, my bad user. Franklin should have had another chance to grab it. They're loving those out routes, but we've covered them, honestly, pretty well. 25 seconds now. Not going to move away from it just yet. Somebody's going to be open. And no quarterback throws it away. 
Gives us a chance to sub in our starters once again. Our second string was out. They're going to run it here. And we get the stop, and I'm going to take the timeout third and six. Oklahoma coming out, looking to go for it on this third down. I know they're going to score no matter what, so we got to just try to do anything we can to slow them down. And there's the user's sack. We get in there with David Wilson, and we'll take the timeout with 11 seconds. Field goal formation for the Sooners. Now a little bit further back, so a slight chance that uh, maybe they could just miss this one short, but I highly doubt it. Kick is up, and it's through the uprights. We're down 11 with eight seconds to go in this half. And if there was any time for Marquise to take one back, this would be it. They've kicked it to the side, which is typically pretty good for our returns. I'm going to bring it out, and Marquise around the corner. I got to step out of bounds while we still have a time to throw up a Hail Mary. All right, this is going to be a pretty uh, untypical Hail Mary. We're going to have Marquise running solo just in case he breaks free. Deep downfield, Chad Bradshaw can't come down with it. Oh, not a good way to end the second quarter. We give up two interceptions. It leads to Oklahoma getting a free six points. We're lucky that we held them to field goals. Uh, we got a safety. I thought momentum was in our favor, but we immediately lost all of it. So uh, we need to score a touchdown on this opening drive to start the third quarter. Otherwise, we are completely dead in the water. Uh, outside of those two interceptions, the offense has played pretty well. Defense, honestly, they've given up a decent amount of points, but I'm not upset with the way they've played. I think it's purely on our offense that we're losing at the moment. Uh, I mean... Look at that. We got a nice safety. I can never be mad if we get a safety on defense. So if we're going to have a chance to win this national championship game, the comeback has to start on this drive. We're not down by a crazy margin. And Marquis saying a little something almost gets around the corner, gets us decent field position. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about the clock just yet, so we can run the football, which... Uh, if we would have been able to do at the end of the half, maybe we don't throw two interceptions. Great first down carry. Mike gets nine. He's averaging like seven yards per carry so far in this game as we'll go with the option. Radon's going to keep it. He's going to get a couple of blocks and a first down, and I'm going to go in a quick little hurry up here. I'm not yet worried about the clock, but I don't want to get to a spot where I am worried about it. So we'll be looking for stuff. Throwing one up. There's Chad Bradshaw. Threw a pick last time we went for that look. This time it works for 31 yards. So maybe we're catching them out with the uh, the hurry up. We're going to keep with it. Go with the run up the middle. They don't have a whole lot of pressure in the box. And it works tremendously for us as Mike gets nine and a half, almost 10 yards there. Great start to this half so far. Let's see if we can finish it off with a touchdown. Now inside the red zone. I'm going to throw the check down, give it to Perkins and get that first down. Make sure the chains continue to move Let's see what we can do with the counter on first down mike has a little bit of space no it's jj Barr, and the fullback gets seven yards so we continue to move as we're going to lean on the option once again right on oh i yeah that that play was dead in the water from the second that we snapped it that man was going to tackle whoever i gave the ball to well let's hope for the best third and ten we need to get inside the five to keep the drive alive I don't feel too confident about, but they're bringing some pressure. This is going to be picked off. No, Mike Fontaine unguarded into the end zone. 13 yards downfield, and we make it what should be a four-point game here. It's just an eight-play, two-minute drive to start off the third quarter, which is absolutely tremendous for us, as now we will need the defense to come out and do some work, and that was great from the special teams. Oklahoma starting just at their 21-yard line means that we should have a decent amount of space for the defense to work with. Plenty of opportunities to get some stops. Quarterback looking to the air, and he gets sacked. It's Durham Finch getting in there. Just absolutely demolished whatever was supposed to be blocking him. It's second and 14. They're going to run this one towards the edge. Can Don Riley get there? We had three guys there. He just trucked through all of them and got seven yards. Thankfully, the uh, decent stop on first down makes it just a third and six now. They need to convert this. Wilson, great pressure, gets to it, but they got a man wide open. He's almost going to score. Oh, my goodness. We got to figure something out here. We should have had this stop, but we messed it up. 
And now it's a big first down at the 26-yard line. They'll step back, looking to throw. Coverage is okay. I should have stuck with that, man. I miss a tackle, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Sooners. We're going to have to start going for two when we score. The defense has these big plays, but they just can't string it. enough of them together for it to work out really well for us. Again, bringing this one out. The blocking, great for Marquise that time. Gets back across the 30. Really tired of hearing Boomer sooner, if I'm being honest. Another read option here. On first down, Mike's going to get the handoff. He's got some blocking following behind the center, and he's got the first down. Last drive, we stayed in the hurry up. We're going to try it again here. We don't run a slip screen often, but we're going to go for it here. They're bringing some pressure. Mike gets the catch. A couple of blockers. Oh, so close. He makes that guy miss. He's off to the races. Still, he gets five yards as we'll try to send Marquis deep. They've done a really good job of covering that, and this could be picked off. Williams is actually going to lose a yard. That was a bad pass from me. Well, what can we find on third and six? Got to convert. Got to get the first down. No Marquis to be found. Stepping back, looking to throw. A is open. We'll go to the check down, and Nichols has the first down and a few yards more. Radon came into this game with just 11 interceptions on the season. Already has two of them today to just one touchdown as Mike Fontaine continues to carry the load. He's running so well today. Like 7.8 yards per carry now. Second and five up the middle. Almost had the space. A foot to the right. I think that we get more than a yard there, but it's third and four now. Only one third down that we haven't converted and it turned into a safety for us. What can we do here? Third and four, stepping back. Mike Fontaine, no, it's J.J. Barr, the fullback, gets the catch, slips a tackle, and gets 13. Pretty consistently getting these big plays. Can we string it together to form a touchdown? Just maybe. This is a pass to Jonathan Williams. That gets us seven yards. Big play, second and three inside the red zone. Stepping back, going to try to get outside the pocket. Right on, this has got to be a touchdown. Looking for the corner of the end zone. He fumbles the ball. Did it go out of bounds? I think it did. Oh my gosh, I thought Oklahoma immediately fell on it. Instead, we have the ball at the one and we're gonna give it to JJ Barr. Up the middle and the fullback can't get in. <laughs> oh, he's inches shy. Well, it's time to give uh, Raid on that rushing touchdown. Couldn't get it on the keeper. Can he get it here? Second and goal, QB sneak in, no problem. And we're gonna go for two here. Tough decision. Do we pass it? Do we run it? I think we're going to look to the air and hope for the best. Uh, somebody's got to be open. We're not really throwing the craziest routes here, but we'll see. 19 seconds left in the third outside the pocket. B's wide open. What are you doing, Radon? There's a flag on the play. He just sailed it over a wide open Marquise, and there was a holding. Oh, what are we doing today? So it's a five-point game when it could have been three as we'll have to kick this one away. Once again, Frederick getting it pretty deep. Again, it should be returnable, so a chance for our special teams to set up the defense nicely, and they're gonna do just that. Anything inside the 25 is nice, but we're starting to run out of time. Just 15 seconds left in this third quarter. Can we find what we need to get the stop? Even just holding them to a field goal would be okay. Certainly not ideal, but anything anything to slow them down they step back looking to throw over the middle to me getting burned oh my gosh where's the pressure i think it's time i gotta try to use her wilson some more and see if we can get pressure on this quarterback what should be the final play of the quarter they're gonna run it it was supposed to be out towards the edge this guy's still not down he's off to the races durham finch had touchdown saving tackles the third quarter comes to a close how on earth was that not a tackle for loss into the fourth we go down five Sooners with the ball this is not going to plan that's for sure just six minutes left in this game can we do enough to slow these guys down I'm expecting runs pretty frequently this is a handoff on first down another broken tackle is Kale Mackey can't do anything that time he just trucks his way forward for 12 yards stunning how we have forgotten how to tackle in the closing stages of this game. Bringing a blitz. Spencer Stanley's there to deflect the pass away. 
Just four incompletions on the day for Greg Huff as he's passing really well. This one a run. We do a good job. Franklin gets in there to stop it. No, he stands back up. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, we had him dead to rights and he gets 14 yards. An absolute travesty there. Oh, wow. They're going to go with the play action. I am so, so hurt. We had him in a third and long there. Instead, now it's second and four at the five-yard line. That is so disappointing. Expecting the handoff and... Well, at least we made the tackle. It's third and two. A chance to hold him maybe to a field goal. And I have to be bringing the blitz here. Pressure. Able to get there. Jenkins gets to the stop of the line. It's fourth and two. I thought we were lost, but we find something there. And this is disastrous, potentially... They're going to go for it on this fourth down. Can we do anything to get the stop? It's a run. Don Riley is there. It's a four-year loss, and it's a turnover on downs. The defense holding in such a crucial part of the game. Not only that, but the tackle where it was gives us a little bit more breathing room here as the offense starts this drive with less than five minutes on the clock. Handing it off to Mike Fontaine. He fumbles the ball. Thankfully, Radon picks it up. Oh, that would have been disastrous. Unfortunately, I can't go away from the run. We just uh, haven't passed the ball well enough for me to feel confident right here. Uh, Mike with some great blocking. Gets four yards so close to getting that first down. Almost a minute off the clock already on this drive. We'll step back. Looking to throw here, sending Chad Bradshaw deep. The safety out of position. We get it thrown, though. We find Mike Fontaine. I really wanted to go deep, but we had to get the first down. We'll come out in the hurry up, try to catch these guys a little off guard as over the middle. Marquise Jackson is wide open. He's going to get us almost another first down there and get out of bounds. So that will temporarily stop the clock for us which is a nice little benefit outside the pocket. I'm going to scramble. Just get this first down. I don't want to play with it there. Let's get the first down, move the chains, and keep moving the ball. Try now. See if our work that we did throughout the rest of the game, getting this Oklahoma defense tired, can come to fruition now as we'll be in the hurry up running the ball a lot. Mike Fontaine with over 100 yards rushing so far today. We're going to go triple option here. Last time, this was a massive play for us. This time, it could be big as well. Pitching it out. Chad Bradshaw makes a man miss. He breaks the tackle. He can't get the block, though. If he gets the block, it's a touchdown. Instead, it's only 33 yards. This is absolutely phenomenal from the offense. Hopefully, we're not moving the ball too quick. Handing it off to Mike again. And he doesn't want to go down yet, but just gets to the line. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to stand up and keep going. On this second down, looking to run the counter. But if they're going to bring pressure, I'm just going to pass the ball away. Let's send Dominique Purcell deep and see if there's any sort of coverage. There is, but outside the pocket, look at who we have. It's Bo Lamb getting us a free six yards and getting out of bounds. I'm a little bit scared, though. Third and four. If we don't convert here, we will be in a lot of danger. Uh, backup receivers still on the sidelines for this one as we're going to throw over the middle and Nichols holds on to it. Tim gets the first down. Almost two minutes to go. I think this is it. This is our final drive. I don't unless we score almost immediately. I don't see us getting the ball back. So I'm tempted now to just start burning the clock. Honestly, try the option right on keeping it. We'll slide down. Try not to take any hits there. We get six yards. And just how big would it have been if we got that last two-point conversion? This was a three-point game. We almost guarantee ourselves overtime instead. Now a minute and a half. The draw to J.J. Barr. Oh, that was terrible running for me. And he's going to go backwards. Oh, no, 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 no. Third and 10. Minute and 28. That is terrible. We need to convert this. A conversion almost equals a touchdown, though. So I'm definitely worried Backup still in the game. A minute to play. I might take the timeout. Oh, yeah, I'm taking the timeout. We got to get our starters in. This is absolute crunch time. Gotta hope that somebody is able to get open on this one. 
Minute and four left in the game outside the pocket. Nobody's open. Absolutely nobody's open and we get hit. I tried to throw it to Marquise, but he ran out of bounds anyways. It's fourth and 10. That might be game. They did a great job of making it so I couldn't run for it. And now if we don't pick this up, it's GG's. Oh, I am so, so worried right now. What can we do? Kind of looking for bar, maybe Marquise. Let's see. 58 seconds now. Again, I got to get outside the pocket. JJ Barr was open for a second. He's not. They left the corner open. Laid on with 52 seconds. Gets into the end zone. We've got a one-point lead at the moment. Again, though, I got to go for two. Got to defend against this game-winning field goal. And I'm not sure this is the right play. I've called the read option. Oh, let's move Chad Bradshaw out. Oh, they, will they go with him? No. Well, then we're going to flip the play. All righty, do or die here. <sighs> Let's do it. JJ Barr keeping it up the middle into the end zone. JJ Barr converts. It's a three point lead with 52 seconds to go. We want them to have to return this kick. So Frederick gonna place it just at the front of the end zone. And it's up to our special teams to make sure that the defense has all the space in the world to work with. Plenty of timeouts for the Sooners. And that was worth it. A yard shy of the 25, and they had to burn a few seconds to get there. I'd be lying if I said my heart wasn't racing a little bit right now. 49 seconds in the lead. They're going to go with the check down. The running back steps out of bounds, though. Only got three yards. We can take that. So long as they don't have a play where they just absolutely burn us, I think that we'll be okay. They step back to throw. I didn't mean to be on John Taylor, but I am. And there's a big play over the middle. They do take their first time out. 39 seconds now. Really praying the man coverage continues to hold up. They will step back, looking to throw once again. Somebody's got to be open quarterback all the time in the world. There's his man. 32 seconds. They take their second time out. All right, it's time for me to bring pressure on this quarterback. See if we can do anything to disrupt him. Wilson trying to get there. Quarterback again, all the time in the world. Goes to a little check down. Kale Mackey can't quite get the tackle. I think he got out of bounds there. 24 seconds. These plays are working all too well. Last time I didn't get a jump with Wilson. We'll try it again this time. Again, all the time in the world for the quarterback. He gets hit and he's going to throw it into the end zone. His man was out of bounds, but Spencer Stanley, his eighth interception of the season, and it's going to win the national championship. He sets a school record with it, and that's going to do it. Just 11 seconds and one timeout for Oklahoma. It's the team's 20th turnover of the season, and it could not have come at a better time. The victory formation for Radon Randell. He'll take the knee in Oklahoma will take their final time out. So with just 10 seconds, Radon can take a knee. What a comeback. Oh my goodness. The clock will tick out here on this fourth quarter. And with the clock hitting triple zeros, the Teal Boys have done it again. 30 to 27, somehow managing to find their way back from 11 down. An absolute banger of a game. Some crazy plays. Those two interceptions I thought for sure were going to sink us. But we managed to survive. And we walk away as national champions in our final game with the team. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mike Fontaine, player of the game. 17 carries for 102 yards. So many touchdowns and there it is. Oh, such a good national championship trophy. Way better than the one that they use today. Lift up the crystal football. Lift up the newspaper. We have done it. Oh, I'm sure that Coastal fans are going to be heartbroken that we leave the team, but we leave them in a good place. A couple of national championships in a beautiful 16-0 season as we beat the Sooners 30-27. So at the end of it all, we come out on top, somehow managed to find that victory. Uh, I really don't know how. 20 first downs to their 16. We rushed for 189, which is pretty solid. Held them to 136. Passed for 215. Somehow held them to 256 through the air. 
uh, which for our defense is phenomenal. We do lose the turnover battle, uh, but our turnover at the end of the day is way more crucial than theirs, and we slaughtered them on time of possession. Uh, kind of how I thought the game was going to go. At the end of it, we were just able to move the ball so much better. Our defense was better rested than theirs was, and we're able to come out with that 8-point fourth quarter to take the lead and to hold on to it. Players of the game again, Mike Fontaine is our offensive and overall player of the game. 17 carries, 102 yards, a touchdown, and five receptions for 53 yards and a touchdown. And Spencer Stanley gets that defensive nod with his game-winning interception. So we can add the national championship trophy into the trophy case now. Uh, and our back-to-back. -back. We won't three-peat with Coastal. We will level up, however. And we have done it. 16 and 0. It's been a long time coming. But our time with Coastal has come to an end. And <laughs> we broke the, the record. It's... <laughs> Uh, 16 is too high of a number for it to comprehend, so it says that we went 0-0 zero and zero with uh SEC championship game win, a Peach Bowl win, and an Orange Bowl win. Oh, man. In Coastal's entire run up until we joined them, their best season was, what, 7-5 and five in 2002. We come in with a 9-4 and four our first season, then go to a 10-3, and 9-5, move ourselves over to the ACC. Actually, I think we moved ourselves over in 2015. Move ourselves over anyways. We win the ACC championship game at 11 and three. Couple of losses, we lose the bowl game. It is what it is, because we're just building at that point. 2017, ACC champions, we win the playoff. We go 15 and one, and then this season, we get that final loss out of there. Absolutely perfect. 70 and 16 in our time here at Coastal. 25 and 7 versus the top 25. 8 and 2 in bowl games. Just absolutely dominant. But unfortunately, our time here has come to a close. We'll go ahead and finalize these playoffs in our step four just so that we can have the photographic proof that we were national champions. And there it is. Oh, so, so beautiful. Not the easiest run, also not the most difficult run. Uh, destroyed South Alabama, did our job against West Virginia, and then struggled, to be honest, against Oklahoma. But at the end of the day, we get it done. We can go ahead and just save that. Oh, so fantastic. And I couldn't have done it without you guys watching. So I want to take this moment to say thank you your support has meant the world to me and i really do appreciate it we end it at the top of the mountain but we got a new mountain to climb unfortunately that mountain's gonna have to wait until the next episode if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed watching us in our time here with the teal boys please scroll down and hit the like button subscribe if you want to be notified when new videos come out then you can head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to my Twitter, uh, our community Discord, and the college football revamped mod if you're trying to get that for yourself. All that being said, though, my name is Goonmaster. For potentially the final time, you guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.